Hello, lover. I mean, living sprout cracker. Shall we have a munch? Hmm. I'm sorry. I know you missed the crunch it, and you can have it. You really can. But, but I can't reach you, so you just have to listen. Can you listen? <laughs> Hello, buttercups. What we've got here is some living crackers that are going to go into the dehydrator. What I have is my new sprout mix, which is clover, radish, and fenugreek that I have had stored in this Debbie Meyer green box nice and dry for about five days. So you can grow sprouts in bulk and then you can use them for all kinds of things. So this is going in and I'm gonna tell you what's in there but I wanted you to see how it was looking, okay? See you in a bit. Hey, hey, and welcome to the kitchen of Love and Light where you can get your game on with raw living sprouted crackers. Bam. Do you all see this? Look, see, do you see? So, first of all, we're going to have a little taste of this in a minute, but I want to tell you what's in it, okay? So, you start off in your high speed blender with two and a half cups of the small white button mushrooms, or you could use baby Bella's. Um, then, in your grinder, I want you to grind one fourth cup of whole raw golden flax seeds. Grind those, put them in your blender. Then, also grinding three tablespoons of raw chia seeds because that's gonna help really stretch that out. We're really stretching the fat out in this. I'm gonna have about half of this tonight with my dinner, which is gonna give me about 150 calories from fat so I can have a little bit of dressing mixed into my decadent salad on top of that. Bam, who don't want that? So anyway, you are going to let me go over this again. You have two and a half cups of Baby Bella or the mini white button mushrooms, okay? One fourth cup of freshly ground flax seed. Um, actually, two tablespoons of ground chia seeds, okay? Because that helps stretch it out. Um, we had about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. We had three tablespoons of dulse flakes to give it some salty. Then what I did, I've got all that in the blender, all right? I'm adding in a little bit of water. Start with about half a cup and keep on adding until you can get a pancake type thick batter, all right? When it's done, then you want to add in two cups of sprouts. Now what I used this time were these, which were sprouts I did the other day that were clover, fenugreek, and um, radish sprouts. So really tasty. And they look like this, and you can make those ahead of time. I showed you how to make those the other day on a sprout video. The, the um, little thumbnail is me holding sprouts. But anyway, they look like this. So you're gonna take two cups of those, and you're going to gently blend that into the batter. Get it all blended. You're gonna pour it in a bowl. And then you're gonna take an additional cup to a cup and a half of the sprouts and fold those in. That's what gave me this nice texture. Do y'all see that? Very nice. Okay, you're going to pour that batter on a Teflex or Paraflex sheet or wax paper if you have that. Um, which is not wax paper, it's parchment paper. So anyway, it's gonna fill from edge to edge one nine tray dehydrator full. You could split it between two because this is good, but if you get it too thin, you're gonna have a problem of holes getting in it and you don't want that because there's not a lot of fat or seeds in this and that's what we're wanting, the crunch without all the fat, right? So anyway, you spread that from edge to edge on your nine tray dehydrator sheet and I'm saying that because they're this big versus the four tray in the Excalibur which is about 25% shorter and and more narrow so it's about 50%
larger. If you've got a four tray, then use two trays, okay? Um, anyway, spread that out. Put it in your dehydrator 115 degrees. Leave it in there several hours until you can flip it over on a grid. You will peel the paper off and you will continue dehydrating until it is crispy for your crunchy experience, right? So I'm not going to tell you exactly how long because it's going to depend on how much water you put in there, how moist your sprouts are, what kind of mushrooms you use, how humid it is in South Carolina or wherever you live today, right? And what kind of dehydrator you have. So you will do it once and you will watch for when you can flip it and peel it and then you're going to watch for the Christmas to appear, right? So anyway, um, I'm going to show you in a minute what I'm going to have on this, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you want a bite? Hmm. See, the thing is, it has the salty, and the mushrooms give it a the salty from the dolls, a little bit of acidic. It has a very earthy flavor from the mushrooms and the flax and the sprouts give it a kind of nutty flavor and then you can add I, I put fresh black cracked pepper on top but you can add anything in there it's a great base it really is don't want to bite I love you I really do we'll be in our new kitchen of love and light soon and there will be lots of recipes every time I eat I'm gonna film it I mean, like I don't do that anyway. But you know what? If you don't follow me on Tanny Raw Instagram, you can stalk me over there. If you're wondering what the heck I eat every day, I show it all day. Every day I bust out the feed. It's quality feed. Like, it, it's good looking food, you know? And a lot of times I'll put the recipe or in the hashtags, I'll put what's in there. But a lot of times I'll put the full recipe. So there you go. So I'll be back in a minute. I'll show you how these turn out. I love you. See you later, alligators. Bye. Oh yeah. Okay, so just to get us started, as you see, I've made up some dressing. Look at that. Can you get your sprout cracker on? Look at that. Yum. Come over. I'll serve you. I love you. See you later. <laughs> 